When MyLab uh, purchased Pearl in 2017, uh, our owner had a request that Bad Malmquist, who had been with the company since the 50s, that he was uh, going to develop a new top model, you know, the microphone of his choice, uh, state-of-the-art Pearl microphone, and uh, that ended up being the Pearl ELMT, a, a tube microphone. To make a good tube microphone, I also want a very, very good microphone capsule. It was my first intention that we shall use our ELM capsule. It was my intention to make a, a real tube microphone. No transistors, no solid state components. It, it was a, a fun challenge. Uh, it's not so easy to make the microphones uh, with low noise, for example. For me, that was quite apparent from the start, that we have, we have this fantastic developer, this guy who's been in the business since 1954, and I still think he hasn't really gotten the recognition that he deserves. Everyone knows Rupert Neve, for instance, but too few people know about Monquist, so I think he deserves a signature microphone. We make these wonderful, beautiful microphones, but they're all sort of mid-priced. We wanted something in the really high-end sector to show what we can do when we give our best developer you know, a carte blanche to do whatever he wants to do. Bernd has been a part of my lab and Pearl for so many years. He started working for Pearl in 1954 and uh, they started developing condenser microphones and tube microphones in the 50s. So I know when he started working on the ELMT, uh, he started with the schematics from one of the old tube models from the late 50s, I think 58 or 59. And that was his raw draft, so this is truly a proper tube design from the 50s that he has reworked with the modern knowledge and the modern components that we have today.